Welcome to part two. This is part two on how to make a great chapter 10 concept map. That's the one you want to make for this chapter and you want to get a good grade on it and so I'm going to give you a ton of help making this concept map. You may want to have a pencil and paper handy. Of course you can always go back and watch the video again but some of you think I'm boring in the classroom and I suspect I'm even more boring on video. So you can pause when you need to. That's one of the nice things. You could rewind and watch again if you want to. But here's how to start building your Chapter 10 concept map. First, take note of the vocabulary words. Section 1 has these four words. Section 2 has all of these. And Section 3 has all of these. 23 words total that you want to put on this concept map. Uh, so. That, it looks like a huge job to put all 23 on there. But I have a way of making it a little easier for you. Remember the Punnett Square? You've seen this diagram before, but notice now the words are in yellow and white. And I added Punnett Square over here in green. The reason is that all of these words in yellow are from chapter 10. Meiosis, fertilization, and zygote. Where have you seen those before? Ah, you brilliant people. I hear some of you saying chapter 9, the last chapter that we did on reproduction. Exactly. So they're review words, but I wanted you to see how all of them go together and connect to the Punnett Square. And Punnett Square is new. I didn't have that word on the list, but it is one of your vocabulary words. And that's kind of the whole thing. So, look what we did here. All of these words pointing to a Punnett square means they're connected. You don't have to do the box link thing because you're showing the relationship of these words to the concept. You understand the idea just by having this diagram. At least I hope you understand the concept. We worked hard on this. You should know this. If you don't, read the book again. It's easy and it's fun and Gregor Mendel will be proud of you. So, where the red lines are, those are all the words we've taken care of. It is no longer such a huge job to make this concept map. So, how do I do it? You start by, I know you're going to hate this, but it's good for you. Read the book. See, I've got one here. Read the book. Okay, so, Here's where we learned about Gregor Mendel and we learned about genetics. Let's zoom in. We saw that heredity is the passing of traits from parents to offspring and genetics is the study of how traits are passed from parents to offspring. Sounds pretty similar, doesn't it? But if you remember from the lesson, we saw that genetics is the study of how traits are passed and heredity is how traits are passed so her genetics is the study of heredity wait I'll make it easier hang on I'm going the wrong way okay we did this there so there's the heredity definition there's the genetics definition you don't have to do that that's just me showing you where I'm getting the information from and I put genetics in as my main word, even though the title is heredity, it makes it easier to do it with genetics. And is the study of, and there's my main word in the middle, so that's okay, it works out nice. And that's how I linked those two words, by carefully reading the text, putting the word, putting the link, putting the word. This shows that you actually understand the difference between genetics and heredity. It's a very, very subtle difference, it's little. Okay, so now we got rid of genetics and heredity. So now we only have a few more words to do. Am I going to do all of them for you? Of course not, because it's a test grade and you have to prove to me that you're smart enough to do some of this all by yourself. But I'm gonna do most of it for you. The next thing we looked at is incomplete dominance and co-dominance. Well, it's not the next thing we looked at, but those are the next two words that we need to cover. 
So, incomplete dominance is when the offspring's phenotype is a combination of the parents. This means a white flower, red flower, get a pink flower. The things combine. It's very similar to codominance. Codominance, we had the white cow, the red cow, the roan cow. The roan cow is a cow that has red splotches and white splotches. So this is like one that couldn't make up its mind, and the flower is like, okay, we'll compromise and be the color in between. So codominance is can't make up your mind, it's splotchy. So back at our concept map, there's genetics, the study of heredity. Here's our definitions. Now I have to figure out how to link them in. So trait combination is incomplete dominance. And I've got that done. And then where both traits are observed is codominance. Now I'm not sure why I put linked it to the link. I think I should have linked it to genetics. So don't give me a slew of emails saying, huh, Mr. C, we caught your mistake because I cut it first. Okay? But at least we've got incomplete dominance and codominance. And in a way, what have I done with my links? My links are kind of a definition, and I'm going to be looking for that. If you use very simple links like genetics includes incomplete dominance, you're not going to get a huge amount of points for that. But if it's one that makes sense, that kind of has the definition in it, then I know you understand, and that's why I'm here to make your brains brilliant and wonderful. Okay, there's the periodic table, and I'm adding it, periodic table, I'll be okay, that's a punted square. Uh, so I'm adding what we have so far, and here are the only remaining words. So if you have this on your concept map, and you have this on your concept map, all that's left is to add this information about DNA and RNA and what we've been learning about in section 10.3. So here's the, uh, the importance of this is the part you have to do in your own. You have to figure out how to get the words from 10.3 built into this. I am sure that you can do it. I am sure that you may be communicating with some of your fellow classmates. Please don't just say, hey, how did you do it, or send me a picture of yours. Ask them how. And you people that understand concept maps, be willing to explain. I'm here too, ready and willing to explain. Send me an email. I'll be happy to answer it for you. And I hope that this uh, video lesson helped you be more comfortable at making a concept map. One final note, we've been learning a lot in a couple of previous lessons about RNA. And I just discovered the other day that this COVID virus that's causing all this chaos it actually has a strand of RNA in it. Remember that RNA is a programming instruction that would go to your ribosome and help you build proteins. Well, when you get that virus in you, it reprograms your cell to make more COVID-19 viruses. So that programming is pretty powerful, and RNA is uh, really pretty potent stuff. But we have some great scientists and doctors out there working like crazy to get this thing solved. So I hope that I will see you live and in person here in this room soon. Until then, thank you for watching. Live long, prosper, stay healthy. I miss you.